And good afternoon, East Texas. I'm meteorologist Andrew Sam. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Super Bowl Sunday. We're going to see lots of sunshine as we close out today. Clear skies overnight. It will get cold tomorrow morning. And then we see a gradual warming trend highs into the 70s for some of us by tomorrow afternoon. But those warmer temperatures will lead to some storms Wednesday into Thursday. So let's go ahead and talk about what we can expect. First, we will look to the past. This morning's lows were mainly in the low and middle 20s, with a few exceptions. Cherokee County Airport dropping down to 29, downtown Jacksonville at 23. But Nacogdoches was the coldest spot out there this morning, dropping all the way down to 18 degrees. So it was certainly feeling like winter if you had to be out early on your Sunday morning. Right now, though, as of about 4 p.m. while I am recording this video, we are seeing temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s, so not too bad out there. Temperatures right around or just below average for this time of year. As we head into tonight, it's going to get cold once again. Now, I'm not expecting teens or low 20s or anything like that, but for the most part, we'll drop into the upper 20s to low 30s to begin your day on Monday. The bottom line is I do think the good majority of us drop below freezing to start your day on Valentine's Day. Speaking of Valentine's Day, here's a look at the that forecast with the day planner here by noon. We're warming things up very quickly despite the cold start in the mid 60s as we head into the evening on Valentine's Day. It's in the upper 60s out there. So it's going to be a warm start to the Valentine's Day evening. Temperatures though drop will drop quickly once the sun sets. To Wednesday now, this is where we are tracking the possibility of some strong to severe thunderstorms. Storm Prediction Center highlighting an area from about Round Rock, Texas to Little Rock, Arkansas our entire area in that yellow shaded area indicating the potential for that slight risk which is the level two out of five which basically means severe storms are possible but at this point widespread severe weather is not expected still stay weather aware wednesday night into two thursday morning that looks to have our greatest risk of strong and severe thunderstorms but again widespread issues not expected at this time but that threat could increase so that's something we'll be watching for your seven-day forecast, we're going to stay warm for the first half of this week. But then those rain chances and storm chances increase Wednesday into Thursday. We'll dry things out heading into Thursday afternoon. Sunshine returns Friday with highs into the upper 50s. Notice Friday morning, we're dropping into the upper 20s. So still some winter-like air for us over the next seven days, but not as cold as what we saw on Saturday. But let's take a look at seven-day forecast for deep east Texas. More of the same 70s, mid-70s by Wednesday, but then storms possible late in the day into early Thursday morning. And then we see that sunshine returning again for your day on a Friday.